All right, Tony here, the new guy, out here with Becky, Amanda, and Scotty. And we are out here in Steen Hatchy. I like to say Steena Hatchy, and Becky always corrects me. So, Steen Hatchy. Did I say that right? I'm saying Stein Hatchy. So Stein? I know you're a local. <laughs> Stein? That sounds kind of German. The, uh, so, we're out here going to do some scalloping. Never done it before, but Scotty said he's an expert and he said he's going to get it in the first five minutes, so it's set the clock. Uh, set the clock. All right, well, let's see what happens. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Gini Guide. Um, this episode, we're heading over to Cena Hatchie from St. Augustine. It's about a two and a half hour drive, and uh, it's beautiful over there. Most people here in St. Augustine go over to scalloping during scalloping season, um, and this is probably like the second week of it opening up. We get over there to the Sea Hag Marina. This whole area was devastated during one of the last hurricanes and they redid everything. The Sea Hag Marina is really super nice. So if you get a chance to get over there, go check it out. Uh, we went over there to get some live bait. So we got about six or seven dozen live shrimp and we're gonna go uh, do some fishing after we do some scalloping. So we're making that plan now. head out, get the boat ramp put in, we head out Dead Man's Bay, meet up with Amanda's parents, and uh, I'm the first one in the water. And already, we got us some scallops. As soon as we got in, they were sitting right there. And of course, uh, I had to show what I was picking up. A couple of horseshoe crabs, looks like they were doing the, doing the dance. And uh, there's Scotty and Kendall, uh, and Amanda got in. B said she wasn't getting in that water, she didn't want to deal with no sharks. So. Um, there's this Kendall, she just graduated from Pedro, and she's grabbing a whole bunch of them. And then a, a couple of starfish. Now Scotty, Scuba Scotty's heading in, and he's he probably got the most out of everybody. Now we're going to change directions, and we're going to go ahead out and do some fishing. Find a spot. What, oh, yeah. oh, you got a trout? Yeah. What is it? Uh, it looks like maybe a little red. Is it? That looks like a little red. Yep. Yeah. Really? Little red. Little baby. Sweet. Oh, he's no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Hey, he's okay. Look how pretty he is. Oh, look at B. B got her first little red. Let's take and see. Uh, we'll throw that one back anyway because he's small. But we're gonna look at the fish rules. See you later, sucker. You didn't say it, Amanda. <laughs> I see him. No. No, but he's fighting hard. No. What are you doing with this guy? What are you doing with a grunt? Throwing it? Is that it? He might be 18. What? No. You don't think so? Mm -mm. He's a little guy. See you later, sucker. He's close. He swallowed it. Uh, he's just... He swallowed it. Oh, well, he just ripped my hook. He took my hook too. See you later, sucker. I got blood all over me. Look. Oh gosh. Blood everywhere. <laughs> Look at his leg. Here, put some of this water on it. Ugh. Just use your hand and rub it on. I'll get it off. I'll put my leg in there and get the shark to come get it. No. Yeah, he ain't gonna be 14. I can tell you that. Just throw him away. Yeah. yeah. He's angry though. He's angry. Man, they are sculping these things here. He might be 17. I don't think so. No, he's 16. 16? Mm-hmm. See you later, sucker. You gonna jump in after me if a shark attack? That is, that's a big ass flounder. Is it right there? Mm-hmm. Yellow when I'm over top. You're it's to your a left. Stingray. It's a stingray. That's a stingray. 
there's a stingray right there. But it's under that. That's not a flounder. Nope, it's grass. Shaped like a flounder. Yeah. <laughs> I just started it. <laughs> oh, got you a trout. Were you reeling it in, Scotty? No. He, uh, I just set it out there and he. Do what? Oh, artificial. Yeah. I don't know. It's it seems like it's pretty good. If I can keep them from going on the other side of the boat. Red. That's a red. Yeah. That's a good bait fish, huh? Come on, you throw this trout in there? Yeah, we'll throw a trout in. Yeah, he looks like he's about 16 inches. How big do you got to be, Tony? 15. Fifteen inches. There we go. We got one in the cooler. Let's move all this stuff. Got four fillets. Two red. All right. See you later, sucker. Oh. Uh, he's long though. Fifteen. Oh, oh. oh. He's, he's, he's probably close. You gotta really pinch that tail. Uh, he's 14, uh, 14 and a half. 14 and a half, close. See you later, sucker. Technically, we spent two days out there uh, scalloping. I kind of combined the two into one day. So uh, the first day we came back through Dead Man's Bay, it was really rough and it got everybody a little nervous. But the second day, which is this day, was pretty calm. We went back in a little bit earlier, not a lot of boat traffic, and we made it back just fine. We ended up getting our limit both days, which is a five gallon bucket per each boat during the early season. Um, later on, you can get two five-gallon buckets. But we end up getting our limits on that. We end up getting uh, keeping uh, one 18-and-a-half-inch red and two trout that were around 16, and, uh, and both of our limit of our scallops. So we ended up cleaning all those scallops and cleaning this fish up and uh, had dinner. So thanks for watching, and make sure you stay tuned for the next video of the Emu Guide.